Huge posted a clip of a uh, of when we had that discussion about the politics of the AEW versus the WWE. And uh, Mike Feigen, that Ooh. guy that I talked about, this guy, Mike Feigen, one of, one of the things, he had a comment about you. Wait, wait, who was that? He's like he's an... a guy, he's one of the, one of the posters on the, on the, uh, in the comment section on the YouTube page. All right. Mike Feigen says, it's very sad and disheartening to hear that Conan, a person of color, would not fully support AEW, a company that strives and fights to promote people of color and members of the LGBT community as Who stars. said I didn't support them? We Mike work Fiegen. with them. We work with them, you <laughs> jackass. I don't have to support anything. Look, Conan, let stop. me say something. You're responding just... to a guy that trolls every, every, yeah. every, uh, yeah. every video. Every post is That's... like is like well, an S- SJW <laughs> post from from Mike Fee. Right. That's yeah. like every one of his posts is like that. You know, like whatever the, the subject matter is, it somehow has to do with like your insensitivity. Uh, but this is what. But Joe Joe Troller did have an interesting comment here, Christ. and I want to say that. And this is like a good point going forward. Is like you said. You look at you look at you know WWE. You listen to their top guys in the promos that they're scripted for them, and you like, what the f these guys talking about? You go over to uh, AEW and you look at the promos that Jericho's cutting, MJF is cutting, you know Cody's cutting. So Joe Troller has a good point though. So in the in the picture on the video that Huge posted, he posted a picture of of Cody and the Bucks, okay, with the big AEW center around him. Cody's just in there holding the helmet Bucks, and Joe Troller says. Just look at these three guys. So talking about Cody and the Bucks with capital letters and the word look. And who's WWE got? Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman. Who you going to watch? AEW stinks and you're all marks. Okay, that's your show <laughs> of the AEW stinks. But, that's, but, but to me, that hits the nail on the head because Vince does have all the big guys. And you would think that should be the focus of the show. We have these big guys and we're going to promote big guy violence. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, the AEW is promoting, you know, the artistry of wrestling. These guys work at the the more undersized, but we got the big boys here. And it's, and, but the theme of the show is what? Kids. You know, let's make it for the kids. God, man, let's get, change the tone of the show. We got some big guys here and we're going to get some, have some violence. There's going to be some fighting, you know, that, that, that's where I think they should be going on, but they're not, you know? Right. So, at the end of the day, who cares who you have if your show sucks and you're not using them properly? You know what I'm saying? So many people are miscast, misused. Bro, just uh, we oh, could go about, down the line. Think about this. Is that you've got Brock Lesnar as your champion, okay? You've got Braun Strowman, Bobby Lashley. Uh, Drew McIntyre. You know, Drew McIntyre, Bray Wyatt. Um, who's another big uh, guy? Um, uh, who, you're getting all these big guys. Roman. Right. right. And the focus of your show is the relationship between Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. And like you think that's like you like if you think that's the money to drive your product as opposed to focused on, on those big ass motherfuckers. I think like, what, man, what, what do you think is going to draw people to watch your show? You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, like, am I wrong? They're, yeah. Well, they're, I think they're searching for answers. They're not sure. They're like, OK, Becky got over and Seth is we push him as one of our top guys are together. Maybe that's something people want to see. You know, they're they're trying to figure it out. That's not it. One thousand percent. You get these big guys that you're diminishing and making them look like all the other undersized guys you have on the show. And you're booking like start booking your big guys as big guys. Right. That's what stands out from the other stuff. You know, you know. <laughs> It's like the, they're, they're the only company that has big guys. Luchasaurus is the biggest guy in what you call it. Or, and that Ace, who, who's that big fat guy they got Ace, over there? Ace, Ace Romero. Ace, Ace baby. Of, he's yeah, been in their he battle does, royals. But he works like a cruiserweight, though, the guy, right? Yeah, he dies. Yeah. Is that right? right. So you don't have these, anything like a threatening-looking, badass, big guy, like, you know, like that, that, that could fight Brock. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, because like I was thinking, brother, said, plus it's the way the guys work today, too. I was, remember how Booker worked? You know, Booker worked very snug, right. like very believable, threw a good punch and everything. Yeah, it's like great Booker T like works like a guy that looks like if he got in a fight with Brock, they may go toe to toe. You know, real so, and not just so, that. And just uh, just like when I was watching Samoa Joe and Roman, right? Like when they did the promo, I was like, fuck, this is gonna be good. And then the match really wasn't that good. There wasn't that physicality that two guys right. should really be mad. Or like right. even when even when the monster came out, uh Bray Wyatt. 
I was like, bro, why didn't he just drag him around and leave him laying in a pool of his blood and just really fucking violent? Or we walk into a fucking dress. If you don't want to show violence, then let's walk into a dressing room and they're fucking, hey, you know, the paramedics are there. There's blood splattered on the wall. There's shit that's broken. People laying around and they're like, ah, we we think he broke his neck. You know what I'm saying? And really make it violent. You know, he just did the mandible claw and it got no real pop. You know what I'm saying? And plus, too, like you watch, you watch Impact. It's like right. they know how to book heat and violence. Right. You know that that's good. Like that's good. They're, they're booking heat and violence. It's like there's no heat. There's no yeah. violence on the show. There's no like, and you got all these big guys. You know, you used to book violence and you got away from. Them. Now you're booking, you know, you're booking the Bullshit. man's man. And I'm like, come on, guys. It's like you got, you know, there's a there's some people that are ready to like give you guys a chance if you give them what they want, but they're gonna just go watch start watching AEW. Although when, when it comes down to it, and you got to start saying, "Hey, we're definitely a better alternative, these guys," because look, we got the we got the big boys here. You know, remember, bro? What was our the thing when WCW started? Where did the big, big boys, boys play? play? Yeah. You know, we had all these big guys and stuff like that. What happened? We eventually overtook them in the ratings because we did have all the big boys. You had Hogan and you know Nash and Giant. Like, we had a physically savage flavor. You know, yeah, the, their their biggest guys were Sean and Brett and Austin and, and, and Undertaker was Undertaker and Kane. You know, but the rest of the, the, the guys were just all basically the same size, you know? And and not only that, you had a super cool concept, which was right. the NWO. They yeah. don't have anything super no, cool. No, there. nothing super cool. It's embarrassing. Like, it's like you, you would – here's the thing. Stuff that you want to try to promote is cool. You look at the people in the crowd. You're like, oh, I don't even think these people would like this stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff that, bro, let's be honest. Stuff that we like – and the wrestling fan today likes are two completely different things. No. But there still is a market for stuff that we like. You know what I'm saying? And they're not really giving us that much, you know? So Well, we're not that far off.